This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Part 30. Let's see what we got. Choose array or variable. Ooh, decisions. Uh, your app needs to store the following information. For each type of information, decide whether you would use an array or a variable to store it. Before I get started, plagiarism is serious and an issue. You cannot and will not plagiarize. I want to talk about this. I want to discuss it. I hope I get your gears turning and you'll come up with an awesome answer. Do not copy my answer, right? That's plagiarizing. So let's talk about it. All messages a user has sent. Ooh, array or variable. So let's think about it. An array is really good at storing a bunch of stuff, right? A bunch of stuff, a big old list of stuff. And a variable has one specific item in it, okay? Or if you have two variables, you have two specific items. So uh, all messages someone has sent. That seems like a lot of info. Let's move on and see if uh, what else they got here. The highest score a user has ever reached on an app. Well, let's think about that. Is that one thing? Is that 90 things? A username and a password to unlock an app. Ooh. All right. That one's kind of challenging. So for this first one, what I would say and that doesn't mean what's 100% correct. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, messages are long, and all messages a user have sent, that would be a lot of information. So arrays are great. Okay, so that's that one. Let's see, the highest score, if the highest score you've ever reached is only one item right? It's not like the highest 14 scores you've reached. No, it's the highest. So for one item, variables are great. So I think it's a variable. Um, okay, that's what I think. And I'll read through all this in a sec. A username and password. So this one's tricky to me. I have two thoughts. If they do strictly mean two pieces of data and our only options are array or variable, well, you don't really want to store two pieces of data within a variable, especially because a username people might need to get access to, but having the password right there with the variable, it could compromise the situation. So what I want to say is two variables. That would be excellent for this. However, I'm going to follow the instructions and it says array or a variable. So I guess an array but then we're storing a string. Well, one would need to be encrypted. Okay, I'm gonna say two variables. That's the best, all right? So variable would be good for each of these individually, meaning best. If the only option is one variable, or one array, and we, I, I, comma, I would pick an array. Okay, so real quick, plagiarism is an issue. It's easy to find this. Do not copy my answers. But what I was thinking, arrays are great at storing a lot of information, talking about the messages. All messages a user sends would be a significant amount of data. An array would be best for these messages. For the high score, the high score, the highest score would be a, would be on, would be a number. Variable efficient, efficient variables efficiently store a single piece of data. Or a variable, yeah. A variable would be best for storing this, the score. Variable would be good for each, a variable would be good for each. Of these individually meaning two variables yikes the grammar here and I'm sure I've missed stuff would be best if the only option is a variable an array I would pick an array those are mine um, I'm sure there's still grammar issues but you get the idea so kind of chew on what I was saying maybe you have a different thought maybe you're better at this than me uh, yeah come up with your own I'm gonna keep moving on